So in this video, we will be taking the derivative of the function a to the x, and we are going to be doing that using implicit differentiation. So the first thing that we want to do in order to evaluate this derivative is we want to set our function equal to y. So y is equal to a to the x. So what we want to do here is we want to isolate the x. So what we can do is we can use a logarithm to pull the x down. So we want to take the natural logarithm of both sides. So this becomes the ln of y is equal to x times the ln of a. Because whenever it is that you take the logarithm, essentially you can pull down the exponent. It's one of the exponent, uh, one of the logarithm properties. So now what we want to do is we want to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So what we want to do is take d by dx of ln of y, and then d by dx of L x times ln of a. So what we can do over here is this is going to be a y trap within an ln of x function. So this will take uh, a chain rule application where it is that our outer function will be ln of x and our inner function will be y. So f of x will be ln of x. g of x will be y f prime being the derivative of our outer function is 1 over x and g prime of x being the derivative of our inner function is dy by dx which we will eventually be solving for in this video so if we wanted to take the derivative of this using the chain rule it's f prime composed of g multiplied by g prime so this becomes 1 over y multiplied by dy by dx. So that's essentially what this part of the equation is going to look like. This becomes 1 over y times dy by dx. And then we want to take the derivative of x ln of a with respect to x. Now the ln of a can be treated as any constant. So essentially if we were to take the derivative of x multiplied by any constant, all we would be left with is that constant itself. So if we took this derivative, all we would be left with is the ln of a. Now we want to isolate for dy by dx. So what we're going to do is multiply both sides by y. So if we multiply both sides by y, all we would have is a y on this side and dy by dx on this side. So dy by dx is equal to y times ln of a. But if we look over here, y is essentially a to the x, which is our starting function. So the derivative of a to the x using implicit differentiation is y, substitute that in a to the x, a to the x times ln of a. And that's our derivative using implicit differentiation.